Okay, here is another practice problem for electric potential. Um, in this case, I have a dipole. So this dipole consists of two charges. They're both two nanocoulombs. That's minus two plus two nanocoulombs. Um, and I have these points, and then they're two, two millimeters apart, so that's two times 10 to the negative third meters. Uh, so I want to determine the energy it would require to bring an electron, here's my electron, all the way in from infinity to this point V. Now, so we're gonna deal with this. Well, I wanna find the change in potential energy going from here to there. And the change in potential energy would be negative the work done to move it over there. Okay, so remember, work equals the change in energy, uh, and no, it would be the change in energy, sorry. The work done by me would be the change in energy. So this would be just the Q times the change in electric potential, and the Q is the charge of an electron, uh, E delta V, where E is one, negative 1 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19 uh, coulombs. So how do I find the change? And this change in potential does not depend on path. So I, I can actually go from this infinity down or this infinity down or anywhere. I'm gonna do it over here just because it, it makes a little bit more sense. And I'm gonna do another piece of paper, okay? So uh, what I need to do is to find the change of potential going from here to there, and or which is really just since the potential here at infinity is zero, I just need to find the potential right here uh, due to these two charges and that multiplied by the charge of electron and that will give it to me. Okay, so let's do that. So remember that the electric potential due with respect to infinity, V is KQ over R. This is with respect to infinity, okay? Because change of potential is always a change. And so I have this situation. I have a plus and I have a minus and then I have this point right there. So if I want to find the potential at this point, it's going to be the potential due to the negative point plus the potential due to the positive point. So V is going to be V minus plus V plus. So it's going to be equal to, um, let's just write this as K uh, negative Q, because they both have the same charge, over R minus plus K positive Q over R plus. So I'm right here, this is two millimeters, and this is five millimeters. So R minus is gonna be equal to this distance, which is three times 10 to the negative three meters. R plus is gonna be this distance, which is, uh, that's gonna be one millimeter, six millimeters. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's one millimeter, and that's five. So this is four. Okay. So, and then K is nine times 10 to the ninth Newtons meter squared per Coulomb squared. Um, and then Q, uh, both the Qs are two times 10 to the negative ninth Coulombs. So let's just put this in. V equals, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel since I have negative 10 to the negative ninth and 10 to the ninth, that's just gonna kinda of cancel. So I get nine, I'm leaving off my units, and then this is gonna be two over uh, R minus, which is four times 10 to the negative three, that's minus, plus nine times two over six times 10 to the negative three. So it's gonna be, I can factor this out, that's 18 times negative one over four times 10 to the negative three plus one over six times 10 to the negative three. And again, I'm gonna use my, can you see this? If I do it like that, my Hewlett Packard calculator, so let's clear this. Um, so the first thing I'm gonna do is enter this number, so I'm gonna say one, and I'm gonna make that negative. There was a negative sign in here. It's been a while since I've used this. Negative, 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 change sign, is that it? Yep. Okay, this is actually a financial calculator, so they do stuff a little bit different. Enter, and then I'm gonna put this number in, four times 10 to the negative three, 
change sign divided by okay now I'm going to do this one 1 enter 6 times 10 to the negative 3 enter let's see divided by and now I have those two numbers already in there I just add them together so I put plus and now I need to multiply it by 18 so I'm going to say 18 times and I think this is right I'm not sure uh, so negative 1.5 times 10 to the third volts so now I need to find the work done that would just be uh, the charge of an electron negative 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs times the change in potential from infinity negative 1.5 times 10 to the third and I get so now I have that number in there I just need to enter this number so I'm going to say uh, 1.6 change sign exponential 19 change sign times and I get 2.4 times 10 to the negative 16 joules. And that's the work done. Now, you'll notice here that it is a positive number, which is, makes sense, right? If I'm bringing a negative charge, this is closer to the negative charge, so it's going to actually be, I'm going to have to push, I'm going to actually have to do work. Okay, now there was a second part to this problem that I'm not going to do, but I want to show you how to do it. Um, so, what if I want to bring it to point A? That's also five millimeters from the center, but it's a different value because the electric potential at A is different than B. Why? Because this distance is different and that distance. Those two are different than these two diff distances. So let me just write down the expression for that. Let me first find R. This is a right triangle. So this is one millimeter and this is going to be five millimeters. So R in this case is going to be the square root of uh, one times 10 to the negative third squared plus five times 10 to the negative third squared. So now the potential is going to be equal to K times negative Q over R plus K, actually I'm going to do this problem, K times positive Q over R they have the same R though, they're the same distance away. It doesn't matter that they're in different directions because it only depends on, um, what's that called? It's a scalar value, okay? So I have a positive Q and a negative Q. When I add these two together, I get zero. So the answer is the work is zero times the charge E, which is zero. So it takes no work to bring it in right here. And I'll tell you why. If you look at the electric field right here, it looks like this. So it's decreasing, but it's pointing to the right. And so if I take my charge right here and move it this way, the force from the electric field is perpendicular. So I'm moving it perpendicular to the force and it doesn't require any work to move it down that way. Okay, what if I wanna move it from here to there? Well, now there's gonna be a force on it, but overall the work is still zero. Because in this, let's say I go this way. I know there's work done going from there to there. Uh, but then I can go this way, and this is actually going to be, this is a, a positive work. This is actually going to be negative work to move it up here. And the, the answer would be zero for the whole thing. And I actually think I did a numerical calculation showing this um, in a different path. But, but that's the, the work done, zero joules. There you go. All right.